Hey y'all. It's July the 8th, 2015, and guess what? The tribulation is still on. That shit ain't gonna stop. Alright, so I'm gonna keep covering it. Here's the thing. I don't have much of a theme, of a coordinated theme going on in this video. Alright? But, uh, I figured, man, it's, I gotta go ahead and make a video anyways. Kinda grumpy, alright? I haven't had probiotics in a few days. I don't know if that's a problem. Or the fact that my internet's acting a damn fool. Maybe that's a problem. Or if all sorts of the crap's happening all at once. Uh, maybe that's the problem. Alright, but I'm kind of grumpy. Bear with me. I'm going to go over a few things. Um, Obama is a faggot, alright? Here's the thing. A lot of people on the internet who I listen to, they say a lot of interesting things. And I'm subscribed to them and I listen to them. And, you know... I get a lot of good perspectives from many different angles. As time goes on, though, I can't help, I'm telling you, I can't help, but be a little bit weary of anybody who's not saying Obama's a faggot. And here's the reason why. It's not because he's a homosexual, which he is, and that's obvious. It's not because of that. Uh, I'm finding it harder and harder to really have problem with homosexuals, I don't really have, to be honest with you, uh, there's no beef between me and homosexuals. He could be a homosexual all he wants. The thing is, he's a damn dirty liar. And he's a damn psychopath, alright? He's a goddamn freaking psychopath, and that's why I call him a faggot, and, that, and that's what the word, that's a good word to use. People not calling him a faggot really are uh, looking untrustable lately. Alright, the recent thing that he did, you might have seen it. Uh, is he went on in, in like one of these press conferences and he basically said, yeah, we're funding Al-Qaeda. Yeah, we're training uh, ISIS. Mm -hmm. Yep, we need to train them faster. Uh, and so what's going to happen now is he's going to come out and he's going to be like, well, I misspoke. Uh, I'm sorry, I mixed up my words and I, I misspoke and I didn't mean to say that. And everybody who thinks that I meant to say that, they're all conspiracy theorists and they're un-American terrorists. And the, the reality of the matter is, no, you meant to say that. You went back to, with your, to your handlers and you fucking joked about it and you laughed about it. The fact that you said uh, something that you should have never said to begin with. Something that everybody knows that you're up to and you went ahead and admitted it in front of a press conference and nobody called you out. And that's freaking hilarious to you because you're a psychopath. I mean, what more does a man have to do for you to call him out and say that he's a faggot, un-American-loving psychopath? All right, now let's get past that. I mean, if you don't believe me, uh, Larry Sinclair. All right, why don't you look him up? Marie, Mar Mia Marie Pope, why don't you look her up? All right, and why don't you call them wires and stuff? Why don't you put them on a press conference and have them say all that they need to say and then call them out and call them wires or whatever? No, you're too afraid to do it because you're afraid of the truth. Hmm? Yeah, you're afraid of it. All right. Um, let's just go on. Hillary Clinton. She, she's a she's a demon. She's a lesbian. I mean, that's all right, too. You can be a lesbian all you want. You're a demon, though. All right? And really what you're trying to do is uh, be a lame duck and lose this next election to Obama. Obama can't run for a third term. That's, un that's unconstitutional. We can't allow Obama to do a third term. Of course he's going to do a third term. All right? Of course he is. Everything's going wrong. And Hillary Clinton is trying to be a lame duck. And here's the thing. Uh, even if she even if she won the election, it's either going to be her or Obama, period. All right? Uh, I know a lot of people might be skeptical of Rand Paul. All right? But the thing is, you have no reason to be skeptical of him because there is no way they're going to allow him or anyone else to... Dare even try to attempt to run for office. Alright? They're going to laugh him all the way into oblivion. It's either going to be Hillary or Obama. I'm not a genius, but either way, that's terribly bad. Either way, you can expect many, many, many rapings and murders 
and all sorts of psychopathedry. All right, you don't believe me about Hillary Clinton? Why don't you ask Larry Nichols about Hillary Clinton? Oh, wait, I forgot you're afraid of the truth. You think the truth is scary. It's a scary thing. Uh, Pope Francis, first of all, as long as I've been alive, you know, I, I, there might be a lot of people who say a lot of different things about different popes and whatnot. I really don't know the complete history behind every single pope. As long as I've been alive, I have not had one little ounce of trust for anyone who calls himself a pope. All right? Because you know what? You're the opposite of Jesus. Jesus is not self-salvation the way you do. All right? Period. So just on principle, with you riding around in your bulletproof cars and him riding around on a donkey and you getting all sorts of cash money and him not ever needing cash money, already on principle, you are a fraud to me. All right? But you know what? Pope Francis, who people just want to suck his saintly wiener, um, here's the thing. He, he loves the idea of a one-world government. He wants you to pay carbon taxes. What's carbon taxes? Well, that means a tax for you living. The fact that you're living, you go ahead and pay a tax now because you know what? You're going to ruin the earth. Why? Because you were born. Why? Because you're breathing. Why? Because you want things. That's going to ruin the earth. It's going to make it hotter for some reason, even though the science really does not agree with that. You still, you're going to have to pay someone. Why? Because you're a fucking demon for breathing and living. That's what Pope Francis just said. And we're going to allow that. All right. Uh, let's go on to Donald Trump. A lot of people are getting behind Donald Trump now. A lot of people are saying, oh, man, look at him. Uh, he's getting fired. He just deserves it and whatnot. All right. Here's the thing. I, don't, I, don't, I never trusted Donald Trump in my life. All right. Who could trust someone with hair like that? All right. But he has never, ever received the kind of heat that he's received now for simply saying things that are the truth. All right? You're crucifying the truth. Because you're now you're crucifying this crazy, creep weirdo the way that you weren't crucifying him earlier. Now you're crucifying him for just stating reality. And that's bad. Somehow that's racist to think that Mexico and all sorts of other places are shipping in their criminals because we don't have a border anymore. And so he must be a racist. That shit's crazy. Greece is melting down. They can hardly get stuff. Uh, store shelves are barren at this point. People are freaking out. Why? And for good reason. They don't have stuff. They're running out of stuff. Meanwhile, stupid dumb Americans are talking about, oh man, they deserve it. Oh man, they're just lazy old bums. It's like, you don't know shit about Greece. The only thing you know about Greece is what you've been told through your stupid fucking dumb televisions. And you keep listening. You keep listening to, uh, oh, they're lazy. Oh, they don't want to pay these taxes. Oh, they're just, they're lazy. They deserve what they got. You know what? They're, they're not even a fraction of the laziness that I see every day in America. All right, and I live in San Antonio, the world capital of diabetes. All right, so are you going to say that about yourself when it happens just months from now? You're going to be like, oh, well, we're lazy. We fucking deserved it. It's, it's, it's whatever that we don't have any food and we don't have any water or any gasoline. We deserve it. We should pull ourselves up by our bootstraps or whatever, just like Greece, just like we said only a few months ago when we saw them and they, and they couldn't get a damn thing. Because they they had they didn't pay their debts or whatever, even though that's not even their debt. All right, China's stock exchange uh, is just biting a, the big one. All right, China's stock exchange uh, is not looking good. And what? Uh, oh, it's a weird coincidence. Even though I don't believe in coincidences, the same exact, almost the same exact moment the New York stock exchange goes down, and they say, "Oh man, it's technical difficulties." Oh no. Ah, computers crash or whatever. Well, don't worry. We're working on it. We're going to get it back up, even though uh, none of that shit makes sense. And the computers probably went back up uh, right after anything happened like that. But anyways, you try to keep them off because you're trying to hide something and it's obvious. All right. That's some bullshit. I realize while all this sort of stuff's happening, I'm planting a garden full of uh, produce or whatnot. I, I didn't dare plant it in the ground because, first of all, if you don't have a gun and if you don't have property that you're willing to kill and die for, 
you had no business planting anything in the ground, so I didn't. All right, but not only that, I got to realize that within a matter of a few months, probably, I got to be able to get the hell out of here and run away from all the people that is that I know just because none of them are willing to take an honest look at the truth, at anything truthful. And when shit goes down, they're going to react even worse than the people in Greece. All right, it's going to be very biblical, brother. It's going to hand over brother. And I already explained this. If you're on my level right now, you're thinking the same thing. And you're looking at your family thinking, man, they're going to turn me in for any kind of reason. Just because I said, fuck a Hillary Clinton and an Obama and, and a Pope and a damn Donald Trump. I don't give a damn about any of them. And you know what? You're going to go to jail for having that. Cause it's going to be a thought crime. All right. They're going to blame you for terrorism and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and that's what I'm dealing with right now. It is a tribulation. Shit's going crazy weird. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, th just for example, here's another thing. The, the Baltimore, this, the prison in Baltimore is straight up ran by the prisoners. And everybody knows it's on record. There's this one dude in the Black Gorilla family who runs the damn jail and he's having baby after baby by all the prison guards and stuff. He runs it on record. That's pretty interesting. That is pretty interesting. And then my mom, she tried to tell me earlier about how uh, she doesn't like Sharon Osbourne. And I already tried to cut nip it in the butt and tell her, you know what? I don't care nothing about no Sharon Osbourne. She's never done a thing in her life to be interesting. All right? Uh, but you know what? You can't. I mean, you don't want to be rude to your mom. So... She keeps going on, and she's like, I don't like her because she excused Ariana Grande. And I'm like, who the fuck is Ariana Grande? As a matter of fact, I don't give a damn who Ariana Grande is. There's no way that I would ever be able to pick her out in the lineup uh, because who, I don't give a damn who that is. And she was like, yeah, Ariana Grande and uh, her boyfriend, whoever the fuck that is, they went around licking donuts or whatever, and that's terrible. They shouldn't be doing that. It's like, you know what? That's completely retarded. All right, because there's no way, I mean, she described the whole situation to me. There's no way you're going to catch them on videotape uh, licking donuts unless someone uh, came and complained to you about them licking donuts. And meanwhile, they should have said that right away. They should have been like, hey, man, these motherfuckers are licking donuts. But they didn't say a damn thing. You know why? Because they're celebrities. And celebrities are gods on earth. And you, they can do whatever they want to. As far as I'm concerned, they can lick as many fucking donuts as they want to because they're gods. You should worship them. You should pray to them. All right? Shit is getting real. All right? None of that is interesting. Uh, meanwhile, uh, people are chopping up. Their babies and putting them in freezers and leaving them there for years and stuff. That actually is interesting, but you don't want to talk to me about that. You want to talk to me about some lady who excuses another lady and neither one of them could I ever care about because one of them licked donuts. And she said she hates America because she saw a big donut. And it's like, wow, this shit is crazy biblical tribulation. Uh, shit's getting real. I'm sorry if none of this makes sense, but I thought I had to throw all this out there to let you know that in case you thought, well, maybe the tribulation's put, being put on the background. Maybe uh, I got some time to think this out. No, you don't have any time. I'm telling you, there's no time. You need to get on your horse. You need to start planning out how to abandon anyone who's not Christian and be able to get on the road and get the hell up out of here. Meanwhile, none of that's going to help you anyways unless you get right with the Lord, if you know what I mean, and I think you do if you're watching these videos. That's paramount. This is the end of days. This is the last generation. I don't know how much proof that I got to throw at you. But I'm going to keep throwing it at you as long as I can get to the internet. How about that? It's July uh, the 8th, 2015. And before I go, one bit of good news. Ken Hovind's out of jail. You might want to check that out. Can you believe it? Ken Hovind's out of jail. I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to leave all sorts of links at the bottom.